Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nia Mak Syukur Murzaman. I'm at number is 201145. First of all, I would like to uh, to uh, to say a good day to uh, Prof Madia Dr Nur Azura Adam. Have a good day doctor. Okay, uh, so uh, today I would like to present you about the management of selected insect pests. Okay, so this is the three uh, types of crop and three types of uh, insect that I have choose. So the first are uh, the chili pests. They are the uh, insect pests are Scytotrips dorsalis. Second are uh, cucumber pests. They are Liliomyza sativae. Uh, and lastly are mango tree pests. They are Rhytodorera simulans. Okay, so for the first uh, chili pests, they are Scytotrips dorsalis. Okay, uh, chips are tiny insect about as fat as sewing needles that dine on many plant worlds. So, uh, chips are uh, usually are very, very hard to see by a naked eyes uh, because they are so are very, very tiny and small. Okay, uh, so uh, chips are also known as Tysonoptera or thunderflies. Uh, chips are sucky insects that can cause some damage to plants. However, however, their damage can be much worse when they are transmit viruses uh, to plants. So uh, this is the taxonomy of the chips. <coughs> so uh, the, the order of uh, chips are Tysonoptera uh, and from family Chipidae. Okay, uh, so the symptoms. Okay, uh, eggs, uh, eggs are placed on the surface under the leaf uh, on the, on the uh, network of plants. Uh, Nifa and uh, Imago stress they are uh, or and suck leaf fruits. Insects are active at dusk and at night. Uh, the underside of the leaf is silver uh, and will grow uh, curly and curve upwards. Attached chili crops uh, throughout the year, especially the dry seasons. Uh, and then, uh, as a result, the area of the tissue attack, uh, will be wrinkled, crooked, deformed, blackish, non uniform and uh, low quality and we can uh, low quality so the attack on the fruit will cause the overgrow, overall grow of the tree to be stunted so uh, will, it will uh, make uh, the less productive or economic value of uh, the chili plants so uh, this is the integrated pest management that are, are usually used by uh, a fruit like uh, 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 fertigation farms so first are uh, cultural control that are uh, use, uh, that use of a uh, blue or yellow uh, viscous traps. Okay, a uh, second uh, chemical control. Uh, so uh, the uh, use of pesticide containing uh, immediate chlorophyll active ingredients such as uh, fusilia and solomons. Uh, uh, we should uh, spray this pesticide by directing the nozzles up and down the leaf. Truly, if using a fogging method, let the smoke through each puff of chili tree. So uh, the, uh, the, this pesticide must be uh, get contact all a part of the uh, chili plants. Okay, uh, seconds are the cucumber press. Uh, they are Liliomyza sativae. Okay, which is uh, vegetable leaf miner. Uh, so uh, usually uh, it is not a vegetable leaf miner. Uh, attack a large number of plants, but seems to favor those in the plants uh, families that are Cucuspitaceae, Iguminosae, and Solanaceae. Uh, Forage puncture caused by the female during the act of ovipositions or feeding may cause a, street, a steeple and a, a steeper appearances on foliage. But this damage is slight compared to the leaf mining activity or larvae. So, uh, actually, uh, Lerumayzo sativae are from the order of Diptera and the family of Agromizidae. Okay. Uh, the symptom uh, that actually happened, okay, the most direct damage is caused by the larvae. Actually, yeah, uh, the larvae of this uh, uh, miser uh, will, will uh, uh, mine the leaf tissues that leading to the desiccations, prematurely fall and cosmetic damage. As a result, loss of leaf will occur and also reduce the yield of the uh, plants. So uh, this is integrated pest uh, management of the pests uh, of the plants. So uh, uh, the first method that I usually uh, that use are uh, biological control. Uh, that are uh, the uses of the parasitoid uh, Eulophidae that was uh, the, uh, the natural enemies of uh, Liromyza sativae. Uh, secondly, uh, the release of gamma gamma related and hence 
sterile uh, mill uh, yang ramai rasa TV uh, okay, control, for control, control, control uh, put yellow stickers on the edges each of the border uh, of the farm uh, or in the farm, on middle of the farm Okay, the last are the uh, use of insecticide uh, that actually are uh, used uh, when uh, that spray are in uh, when the uh, cucumber are in the seedling stage with residual insecticide such as abimac abimactin or uh, ferretrium sprays to reduce yearly egg layings. Okay, uh, the last are for the mango tree pests, they are acidodes, uh, also known as the snorted weevils. Okay, acidonates uh, usually combine the act of feeding with the preparation of end or irrigation sites. Uh, Adult feeds on the soft, tender parts of the plant, such as petiole, leaf buds, tender, termin tender terminal portions, and sometimes fruits. Uh, the long rostrum is used to make a deep, a deep uh, excavation into the host plant tissue. The female feed was uh, excavate, excavating the hole, then uh, they will lay an egg there. The larvae then develop in, style, in situ in the young stem. The larva feeds on the pits uh, that is soft and spongy circular tissue in the, in the stems and later tunneling downwards into the larger stem and inflated shoots become hollow and dry out. So uh, this is the uh, taxonomy of the uh, acidodes. Okay, uh, uh, it is come from the order of uh, uh, insect that are called terra, a bug, uh, a bug order, uh, and from family Cuculinidae. Uh, uh, Alright, this is the symptoms. Okay, uh, the feeding injury on the inter tissue of young stem and flower panicle result in retard growth and reduce the fruit outputs. So, uh, uh, the yield will be uh, less and the farmer will be uh, will be lost uh, and secondly a small hollow branch fall down with the wind and follow panicle with this this we see the fruit outputs so uh, uh, the wingo tree will be uh, dry and then uh, easily to uh, uh, to break down okay this is the integrated pest maximum of the uh, of the of pest uh, for uh, mango trees or to prevent uh, uh, alpidocyte. Okay, uh, so uh, first I use uh, of biological control. That is the use of parasitoid in orchid. orchid. Uh, there are uh, the use of Hymenoptera, uh, Eulobidae, Eulophidae. Okay, so uh, this is the natural enemies of uh, uh, this pest. So uh, this uh, parasitoid will lay uh, uh, eggs in the uh, larvae of the uh, pest. Then the larvae will hatch and kill the uh, larvae. Okay. So uh, uh, next are the culture methods. Okay. Uh, for the culture method, uh, the farmers uh, must avoid dense planting and keep the orchard clean by regular regular plugging, plugging, and removal of weeds. Pruning of overcrowding and overlapping branches should be done on a regular basis. Okay, uh, that for the culture methods. And lastly, uh, for the mechanical methods. Uh, so, uh, the farmers should mon monitoring and uh, and disruptions of imagings uh, and that with material traps. So, uh, this will attract the uh, meal uh, uh, of the species. Then, uh, the population will be decreased. Okay, so uh, this is the reference that I have used for my presentations. And that's all from me. Uh, thank you.